Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Forever Housing Authority regular session meeting. It's Monday, May 8th, 2023, and it is 4.35 p.m. Uh, Martha, the roll call, please. Chairwoman Sahadi. Here. Vice Chairman Underhill. Here. Commissioner Burns is absent. Commissioner Bentley. Present. Commissioner Medeiros. Here. Thank you. <clears throat> Attorney Sousa, the open meeting law. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Pursuant to the open meeting law, uh, the open meeting law language is as follows. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Thank you. The first item is citizens input. Do we have any citizens here this evening? Seeing none, item two is residence input. Come join us. Thank you, Mary. Quick and easy, the tenants this past weekend attended the mass shooting of public housing so, uh, yeah, council's meeting. <clears throat> they, got, they learned a few things. They learned a few things were good, some bad. Uh, your vice chairman was named the, now the new chairman of Mass Union. We have heard. Congratulations, yeah, I know you have. David. Congratulations. So now that everybody knows. That's right. Other than that, it's pretty quiet. Good. Excellent. Thank you. <clears throat> Item two is the minutes of the regular meeting held on April 10th, 2023. Do I have a motion to accept the minutes? A motion to accept the minutes. Second. Any questions, comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Item three um, are the vouchers. They're included in your packet. Do I have a motion to accept the vouchers as presented? A motion to accept vouchers. Second. Any questions with regard to the vouchers? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Item four are the management reports. The eight reports are included. The applications. Report number two is the occupancy reports. Three are the tenants accounts receivable report. Four is the work order report. Five is the monthly section eight voucher activity report. Six is the monthly personnel report. Seven is the director of modernization's monthly report and eight is the bank investment and bond debt balance report. <clears throat> Do I have a motion to accept the reports as presented? I'll make a motion to accept the reports as presented. Second. Any questions with regard to any of these, these reports included in your packet? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Item five is your financial reports. A is your fiscal year ended March 31, 2024 budget book. That's the binder that was included in your package. <clears throat> Do I have a motion to approve the budget as presented? Yep, uh, motion to approve. Second, <clears throat> excuse me, second. Any questions with regard to the budget? No questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item B is the state quarter, quarterly modernization report. It's for the period ended March 31, 2023. The recommended action is approval of the report. I'll make a motion to accept the state quarterly modernization report. Second. Any questions with regard to the report? It is the multi-page document included. No questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Item six is an update. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. A uh, few things. Uh, first, you'll see later on on the agenda, uh, DHCD is once again um, offering housing authorities the opportunity to federalize their state portfolio. Um, it's just the early process. Um, 
Some of you have been around for a while. We did this about 14 years ago with uh, Baresi, Doolin, uh, Bates. We federalized those properties. And more recently, about eight years ago, we did Pleasant View. Um, it does benefit um, the housing authority as uh, if, they're, if we're successful in the conversion, there's always more uh, capital and operational funds to the housing authority. Uh, so we'll be looking to federalize Corky Row and um, Bishop Ead. So uh, it's very early in the process. Um, I think it's beneficial to the housing authority. So with your approval, we'll, we'll be looking to do that. Um, I wanted to acknowledge Brian Vieira and the River Trust Group. They assist the housing authority and support us with um, Easter egg hunts, movie nights that will be coming up during the summer. And they do a lot with Joe DeSilver in that department and, and helping us out and coordinating these events for our residents. Um, lastly, um, on behalf of the housing authority, the board, I want to acknowledge uh, Mike Lanier's who uh, retired just last week. Uh, for his 35 years of service dedicated to the facilities department. And um, we got him um, a little gift that I would like to give him. Michael. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Big shoes. Concludes what I have. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Next on the agenda is new business. Item one is modernization. A is a certificate of completion consolidation for the apartment conversions, phase two to the third phase two, thirteenth floor at Cardinal Madeira's Towers. The recommended action is approval. I make a motion to approve. Second. Any questions with regard to the certificate of completion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Item B is a contract award for site improvement project at Oliveira Apartments. The recommended action is to award the contract to the low bidder, Gilden Inc., in the amount of $69,500. Um, alternative number one is to install additional 100, 110 LF of Jersey Barriers as per print, adding 26995 to the contract. I'll make a motion to award the site improvement project at Oliveira to Gildan, Inc. Second. Any questions with regard to this contract? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Item C is the contract award for roof replacement, phase five, buildings 10, 11, and 16 at Sunset Hill. It's to award the contract to the low bidder, Capeway Roofing Systems Incorporated, in the amount of $572,200, with alternative number one, which is building 16, to add an additional $286,100. I, I just have a question. Um, was the base bid buildings 10 and 11, and then 16 was the alternate? Yes. Okay. Do I have a motion to yeah, award uh, the contract? Motion to award a <clears throat> uh, contract to low bidder Capeway Roofing System. Second. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Item D is a contract award for interior flooring, trim, and ADA improvements at Elmer and Corbett Streets. 
This is the Chapter 689-1 program. <clears throat> this is to award the contract to the low bidder, DDC Construction Incorporated, in the amount of $190,600, contingent upon the final approval from DHCD. So they haven't approved it yet, correct? DHCD. Uh, no, it's okay. always contingent okay. upon our vote, yes. We have a motion to award the contract. Uh, yep, motion uh, to award the contract to uh, DDC <coughs> Construction. Second. Any questions with regard to this contract? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Item two is miscellaneous. A is federal federalization of the state aided developments, um, chart Bishop Ede Apartments and Corky Row Apartments. This is what I spoke of just, just briefly a little bit ago uh, in federalizing those two properties. Just want to uh, inform you what the process is. It's a long process. Um, you work jointly with both DHCD and HUD. Uh, there's an application process, um, steps we have to follow, but just wanted to um, bring this to the board and get the board's approval. Uh, that we go forward with it. So we're looking for an approval here to authorize you to go forward? To, to at least at do least, the application process, okay. and then if there's more uh, formal requirements, then I would bring it for a vote. Okay. okay. And if we went forward with the application and something came up, can we pull it back at any point? We can. Yes. Okay. We can. So do we have a motion to authorize our director to start this process with the application to federalize um, these two um, projects? If I could just add to, mm -hmm. if, if it requires any sign-offs, then I would bring it to the board and you would have to vote to accept or not. At that Excellent. Point. So I'll make a motion for the director to start the discussions and paperwork to federalize uh, Bishop Ede and Corky Row Apartments. Second. Any other questions of our director on this process? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Item B is the open meeting law complaint filed by Patrick Higgins, dated 4-10-2023. <clears throat> the recommended action is to designate our general counsel, attorney Michael Souza, to respond to the open meeting law complaint dated the same. We need a motion. Uh, motion to uh, designate general counsel to respond to OML complaint dated 4-10-2023. Second. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item C is <clears throat> the Professional Auditing and Reporting Services contract. Um, the recommended action is to award an eight-month contract to Markham Accountants and Advisors in the amount not to exceed $40,000. This is for our March 31, 2023 Three. audit, correct? Yes, correct. And single audit, financial yes. and single audit. Do I have a motion to um, award Markham the contract? Uh, motion, yeah, to award eight month contract to Markham accountants and advisors. Second. Any questions with regard to this contract? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Item three is personnel. A is the resignation of an employee. Um, the recommended action is to accept the rec resignation of Brian Matelvo, effective May 1st, 2023. I'll make a motion to accept the resignation of Brian Matelvo. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item B is the temporary director of human resources position. It's to ratify the appointment of Elizabeth Burns. Motion to ratify the appointment. Second. 
Martha, roll call, please. Commissioner Underhill? Yes. Commissioner Medeiros? Yes. Commissioner Bentley? Yes. Chairman Sahadi? Yes. Item C is the Public Housing Administrative Assistance position. The recommended action is to ratify the appointment of Jennifer Pavo. Motion uh, to ratify appointment of Jennifer Pavo. Second. Commissioner <coughs> uh, Medeiros? Yes. Commissioner Bentley? Yes. Commissioner Underhill? Yes. Chairman Sahari? Yes. Okay, the next item on our agenda is executive session. Item A is union negotiation update for unit A. It's anticipated that executive session pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3 to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have had a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating positions of the public body. And as the chair, I so declare. Bless. Bless you. Item B is a Watapa Heights litigation update. <clears throat> Anticipated executive session pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, to discuss the strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body. And as the chair, I so declare. Do I have a motion to go into executive session? Motion to go into executive session. Second. Martha, roll call, please. Commissioner Underhill? Yes. Commissioner Medeiros? Yes. Commissioner Bentley? Yes. Chairman Sahari? Yes. This is the end of our regular meeting of today. Um, we don't anticipate coming back out of executive session. And so do I have a motion to adjourn the regular session? Can yes. we say the motion to adjourn will be made after executive session in executive session? Okay. The motion to adjourn will now be made after executive session in executive session. Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn in, at the end of executive session and okay. not come back into regular session. Thank you. Just Second? Second. All in favor? Perfect. Aye. 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 Aye.